Science needs to be creative. Science needs to be like art because the more creative that kids are, it just leads to them asking questions and those questions lead to research and that research leads to inventions and innovation and that's really where you want to you want to take it. My name is Joni Block and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of the Seattle Science Foundation. My idea initially really for the Kids in Medicine program was to be able to offer something that was really unique for them. As we both got involved in Seattle Science Foundation and training physicians and health professionals, it seemed a very natural fit to bring children up here and give them the opportunity to be exposed to biology and physiology and medicine. Something that was hands-on, an experience that they couldn't get anywhere else. So I thought that if they had an opportunity to do something that was really different, whether they come in here to the Seattle Science Foundation or were able to bring something out into the classroom, that would be an experience they would remember forever. When I went through traditional schooling, there was always a level of intimidation when it came to science and math and, and physics and chemistry. And I think that, in fact, those are barriers that need to be brought down. And cultivating the kids early and not having them being intimidated, I think, is a, is a very, very essential piece of a puzzle to make them very, very successful adults. I definitely think that an early introduction to science is important. I think it helps the kids explore those opportunities that they might not even think about. Everything is new, everything is different, so they can do things that they've not ever had an opportunity to do, and the world is just so much bigger for them because of that. It exposes them to a whole new world that they wouldn't otherwise have been exposed to. The idea behind the program is to plant that seed and let the kids really imagine that they could be the next best heart surgeon or they could be the next best scientist and discover something really important. It at least allows them to get the exposure to it. Because I, really, I, I feel very strongly that a lot of kids make choices that are not fully vetted, for lack of a better term. I think kids don't get the appropriate exposure, whether it be political science or media or biology. And I think it's critical that you look at every kid and there could be a world famous violinist within his soul or there could be a, a great doctor or a great uh, writer. And I think it's critical as an adult to make sure that children get that exposure. It was interesting, one of the kids that participated today, his parents are artists and there's an awful lot of need for medical illustrators. And so there are different career opportunities that really have nothing to do with actually working on a patient or being in a lab or being an engineer, but there can be an artistic side to it as well. The key to it really is allowing them to touch and feel and say, I wonder, and being able to be creative enough to explore more. Seeing how excited they are, how interested, how motivating it is for them to have a hands-on experience and then to talk about it with each other and with experts who can answer their questions or who can help them and lead them to places where they can find answers. The feedback that we got just recently today was, I want to go home and learn more. I want to explore on the internet and find out more things. I want to take care of my body more. It does have an impact on general health and wellness. We asked them, what do you want to do when you go home? And several of the kids afterwards said, I want to make sure my mother makes something healthy for dinner. I think being able to open up that heart and see it and see the disease and see the plaque, it really hits home. I would definitely offer it to as many students as I could. I think as many kids as possible, as young as these students were today, would be very interested. We had kids here today who were not yet in school who were very excited about it and I also think that older children would be equally interested. I don't think there's a program like this for elementary students anywhere. If you have a curious kid or you can make the kid curious and you provide the opportunity to explore that curiosity in an environment that's friendly, that's stimulating and that's sort of a non-traditional classroom setting. I think if you can do that for kids and really explore their own innate curiosity and allow it to grow, I think you've, you've been successful. The next step for this program is really to be able to offer it to as many children and as many schools as possible. 
I'd like to really start with the public school system and be able to provide that opportunity that they wouldn't otherwise have. The number of parents that I talked to just today who said, my student wants to come back next year. They want to know when you're coming out to their school. They want to know when they get to do this again. They're very excited and they know that there aren't opportunities like this that are often available and are wishing that there would be. If you are interested in or would like to support this program, Contact Joni Block by visiting seattlesciencefoundation.org.